Hi there, this is Nelly Deutsch and learning online, teaching online has never been easier, especially now with free LMSs, Learning Management System or Course Management Systems. This is Blackboard. You can get an account completely free and teach your own courses. So welcome to Course Sites and it's true, it's never been easier to teach and learn. So first thing you need to do is register over here. Once you register, you'll be able to sign in each and every time. But before that, you need to register and create a course. So this is what you need to do, write your first name, last name, email, confirm, country, and you're registering as a professor or student. So you're going to write professor. After that, after you get all that information in, you need to Verify. Yes, I agree to the terms. Yes, sign me for emails if you wish. And then, of course, I'm not a robot. Once you do this, you'll be able to sign in. So I have an account. I'm going to sign in. If you have any problems with your registration, let me know and I'll try to do my best to help. So this is my account. Let me sign in. Anyone can create an account and it is completely free. So this is Blackboard. Now notice the advantages here. You have Blackboard Collaborated, which is a Zoom-like live virtual class, which is what I love. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, notice what it says here. Uh, you need to get your recordings saved on your computer or on the cloud somewhere because they will be removed from course sites on November 30th. So if you wish to retain copies of the recording, you should download them for safekeeping before this date. Okay, so this is something that you can do. All right, let's um, go back now and get started. So there's my name. You want to get your profile already. Activity, stream, courses, organizations, and so on. So, and the tools, of course, which are really, really important. There's content, collection, portfolios, goal performance, and applications. Now, I'm in as a student, all right? So you might want to get everything set up here by uh, getting a photo. Notice I haven't done anything yet even though I've had, I think, this account for many years. So get that done. I'll get it done to institution page if you have one. And then um, organizations if you have one. You don't have to show this up. Your messages and so on. So let's start with courses. If I go into courses on the left here, uh, notice what I have here. I've got some kind of course set up a long time ago. Okay, so I can continue with that. Or let's go into Activity Stream. So this is the current course that I have set up. I may have upcoming courses, but in this case I don't. So let me go into Activity Stream, which is right here. You can see it. This is where you can add announcements. And then notice there's your settings. So let's click on the settings. It's very intuitive. And this is how you do it. Uh, you add content, and then you decide how you want the content to go. Gradable items, performance, calendar, blog, act, journal, and wiki activity. And then when you finish, don't forget to save. Now, I'm not going to do this for you. You can do it for yourself. Notice what's available here. Your phone number for SMS notifications and email and how many times you want to get notified. Okay, so notice under courses, there are filters, all courses, courses I teach, open courses or completed courses. You're going to go into, okay, this is a course I created. Okay, so um, I can edit various things here, but I'm not going to. Let's um, go into Ultra Course. Okay, that's how they call it before you start editing. And this is how we start editing. Okay, so 
course content, get started, use this page to build your course, select the plus to begin. Okay, so the plus, for those who want to know, is down here. Okay, so that's how we get started. Very intuitive. Course Sites has been on for many years, so it's not really new. Way before Canvas, but after mode. All right, so here you click on Create, Copy Content, Upload, and so on, Content Market. All right, so that's how you build it up. Course is private. You can make it public. And then there's Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, so take a look at this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box, and I'll be happy to answer them or point you in the right direction. So let's go into Join Session here course room of this course so it actually goes with the courses so this is uh, bb collaborate it used to be illuminate many years ago one of the first uh, virtual class that i started with illuminate and it says you're the only one and notice the features here all right there's your mic there's your video okay probably looks familiar most of these are more or less the same here are everyone moderators that's for the chat Okay, let's go to my settings which is important over here click on it notification session okay this is um, the volume share content very important this is where you share the content so let's go into that notice you can share these various things you can also choose how you want it audio and video okay see if there's anything else that we missed here don't think so so we can close that up and there we have this but remember the screen sharing is on the bottom right there okay so this is raise hand and my status and settings notice uh, this is something that illuminates used to have and I really like it leave session how you feel happy surprised and so on okay so there it is now let's go to the left here, okay, into the setting, open it up, and notice what's here. Tell me about Collaborate. Here you can get information on how to use this. Notice I haven't given a name to my course, or so it says Ultra. All these things are Ultra until you give them a name. Okay, so Introduction to Collaborate, Learn about Private Chat. So if you forget any of this you can always look it up. So notice under share your camera won't show until you or your participants cameras won't show until they allow it. Okay so the share is at the bottom right here you open it up and notice um, share content here you share blank whiteboard Okay, if you want to do that there's a whiteboard and I love this option I think it's really really important. Uh, share application screen okay and then you and your students can draw on it. Share camera share files you can share files with your audience or with the uh, okay let me show you how that works it's really really amazing um, I think that um, let's see if we can get a PowerPoint here there we go so <coughs> okay as you can see it's converting this may take a little bit of time you might want to do this in advance so it to save time of course okay so that the conversion can be done before the class starts okay next i'm going to share now it's very intuitive and a really really nice system okay there share now so everything you bring up will be in the back end and nobody will see it until you decide that you want to show it so okay there they are notice the slides and then you click on each one and you'll see it on the left or in the center for everyone else to see as well now the recording notice uh, there it is at the top right so let's click on it okay that's stop sharing let's go back to it and share now okay click on the first slide it's loading all right so you move it with uh, notice these arrows it doesn't have a name you should have a name on it Okay, there, go to the next slide from here, or you can do it from the right. It's up to you. Click on it there, or um, go through these arrows back and forth. 
Okay, so what else can we do here? Well, we can maximize, and I love this idea of maximizing. Okay, so there I've clicked on it. Edit fit page. Okay, right now it's fit page, fit width, okay, which is the same. And we want to get rid of everything that's on the right. So what we do is we go down here to the X and click on it. So let's do that. And then we'll have, there we go, only the presentation. You can also have your video up here if you want to enable it. Notice I don't have that nor audio enabled right now. And that's it. I hope uh, this has been of help. And you use BB Blackboard in your course sites, Blackboard courses. So I left the session. I'm going to uh, submit poor because I have no idea where the recording is. So uh, I had audio problems. No, others couldn't see me. I had video problems. No, I had a different problem. And the problem was no recording. How do I record? Okay, and I'm going to submit that and go back. Okay, so I'm back. Notice I can also import content and export course package. So these are, notice, uh, get course room, edit course room settings, view room report, manage all sessions, view all recording. You cannot record unless you pay, and uh, it's quite a bit of money. So for the free, you cannot record. You can record using Screencast-O-Matic or any other Screencaster. No need to worry about that. But that's it. So hope uh, this has been of help, and uh, you enjoy and try out course sites from Blackboard.